Hey everyone, Brian for Bearable Traders here. It is Sunday, November 10th. Hope everyone's had a great weekend so far. It is actually a long weekend for a lot of people. September 11th or November 11th being the Veterans Day, both Canada and the US. And special shout out to all our veterans and their families and service people today. Um, thank you for your service. So um, that said, the markets are open tomorrow, even though a lot of people do have the day off. So we will be in the room trading on Monday morning, tomorrow morning. And I expect markets to continue to push higher. And you can see here every time we get a little pullback here, it gets bought back up. And this is just the tail of the tape for all of these. And it just happens day after day after day. And I uh, even say in the day trading room each morning, as we're pulling back here, because usually we're in the active in the room at this time of day. I'm just, I keep saying to people, this is going to get bought back up, and every time it does. And why is that? A lot of the Fed is still in play here. You can see this is their balance sheet. They started buying securities back here back in September, and they've just been on a continued path um, buying active in the market buying securities and uh, it's not QE4 but it's uh, what they say but they are in there buying and buying and buying so just pushing money into the system. Now I understand most of it's going into the short end um, a lot of short, uh, short term bonds and that kind of stuff but uh, we may end up seeing them start to get into into the long bonds as well here. Uh, because the long bonds are rising, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. And you can see here we've got some, we've come through a pretty heavy week of earnings reports. And next week we've got smaller, smaller number of companies reporting, but uh, some of the more notables, NVIDIA, Cisco, Walmart, Skyworks, uh, Applied Materials. I think Home Depot is in there too. Um, so anyway, yeah, we've got, uh, got a number of of companies reporting this week as well so see what uh, <clears throat> and I think most of the I would say 80 percent 75 to 80 percent of the, uh, the companies that have reported so far have either met or exceeded expectations so it's been a pretty positive earnings season so far and you can see here we're pretty much uh, we're pretty much sort of a, a bullish internal market here so take a look at the groups here quickly just to see what was performing. Healthcare has been doing pretty well lately. Um, industrial goods, sort of the uh, basic materials, sort of the companies that you expect to see doing well in a, a market that, or at least an economy that's improving, technology, risk on. But you can see here the one month performance, healthcare has been good, financials have been good industrials like uh, probably oh Honeywell those kinds of companies have been doing well so I think that's going to probably continue and the thing that's really getting beat up here is the utilities you can see here utilities took a big hit with the interest rates that have been rising so let's uh, speaking of that let's take a look at it and you can see here this is what's been happening with the, the longer longer term treasuries this is going up it may be running out of steam here but uh, we may actually push higher this is about where we bottomed here and that's about the same level right there so we have broken out from this level and yeah we could be heading back up into this uh, this 210 level here on the uh, on the yield you can see MACD is continuing to strengthen. RSI obviously made the higher low here, so we'll see if uh, we're right up at resistance on the RSI. We'll see if we can keep pushing on here. Um, some people are thinking it's a little extended, but it, to me it looks like you know we filled the gap here, this gap, and pulled back again and double bottom. Now it looks like we are going to be maybe breaking out in this uh, this two level will probably be a level that'll maybe um, see some resistance so but if the uh, if the interest rates continue to go higher it's uh, 
may not be uh, that may be the kind of straw that breaks this the camel but this camel's back the back of this market because once we start creeping up with those rates uh, I think people will start getting nervous about uh, where we're going with the indexes so you can see here let's just see what the you can see the Dow on the week here we broke out uh, pretty convincingly bit of a pullback at the end of the week here but uh, overall things look pretty strong the volumes really not uh, we're not getting a lot of volume here it's kind of average let's take a look at the IWM IWM it's kind of stuck here it looks like you know we've got this level of resistance right here we did break above it we had a hollow filled candle which typically leads to a reversal you can see this hollow full candle here hollow full candle here so we'll see if we get a bit of a pullback. Um, certainly this 150 or 160 level, which is right here. Let's get this uh, thing going. Yeah, 159.98 on this uh, on this can on this candle right here. And what did, did we get over it? We did get over it, but uh, couldn't hold and pull back. So I think we we may end up getting a bit of a pullback here with this hollow fill candle. Let's just see what the Q's did. Again, Q's just breaking out, just going higher. Volume really lackluster. Not great at all on the volume, actually. And the SPY. SPY's had pretty decent volume. And uh, breaking out here as well. So continues to go higher. And like I said, the Fed's in there buying. And speaking of buying, we talked about uh, the earnings. There's also a fair amount of Fed speak this week. I think there's a number of uh, Fed guys speaking. And I think Powell is also going to be testifying on Wednesday. So uh, markets and the um, machines will be listening to every word he says there. Uh, dollar got strong again, did a bit of a double bottom here, came back up. We don't get a lot of movement on this, but it's always interesting. It's probably one of the reasons gold sold off, possibly, is that uh, dollar strengthened again. And the VIX, we're right back down at, uh, we're back down here at support around 12. And again, depending on which way the markets go, if we continue to go higher, we might just break that and head lower. See some of the stocks I've got on watch. See Baidu really, uh, really ripped higher here on earnings. Let's take a look at the weekly on that just to see, take a further step back. You can see Baidu's really, you know, when you looked at it on, on that uh, daily chart, you really didn't see much past year. But you can see how far this has dropped. I mean, it was up, uh, where was it? Where did it peak out at? $284, and now we're down at 124 so it's got a lot of ground to make up here. Uh, big volume week this week. Uh, we're right back up at uh, sort of some area that's probably going to be some resistance. We'll see if it can fill. Tried to fill the uh, fill this gap and didn't quite make it here on uh, on Friday. I actually uh, played it to the short side on Friday. Did a bit of a day trade here when we we did a double top. Let's just take a look at the, how that worked. Let's take a look at the 15 minute. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't show it on that. Let's take a look at the five minute. So you can kind of see here, this is where I took a short on it in the day trading room, came up here, pulled back, did a pretty significant pullback, came back up, and we didn't quite make it even. It was a bit of a double top, almost got up back up to the high. It's almost a perfect double top. And uh, and now it's got short in, uh, in the room, and then, uh, yeah, that worked out real well. <clears throat> I actually got short through options. I just sold the 127s uh, options and just held them to the end of the day there and, uh, and just let them expire worthless. So that was, uh, that was a day trade opportunity knocked. CGC, CGC, the, the pot stocks really took off. I, I, you know, again, we got a bit of a... We played it back here and it pulled back again. It looked like it was going to head lower. 
held and now we and we had a big pop on uh, on I think that was Friday yeah that was Friday had a big pop on volume too so may look at that for continuation although we're right back up into resistance at that uh, 2180 level so it's going to have to pretty much get through 22 before uh, it's going to get interesting maybe set a uh, a, uh, an alert for 22 <clears throat> on CGC. And here's, uh, yeah, Nuggets just got taken to the woodshed here. Um, gold stocks all down. And we're right down at the 200-day moving average here. So I would say it's going to have to hold here. Um, or we're going to go down and probably fill this gap on Nugget, which means you could play Dust. Again, that's the weekly on it. Roku, Roku's been... Uh, He's been really got uh, got beat up here, got sold off on earnings, even though the earnings were good. It's kind of a weird, uh, kind of a weird reaction to some good earnings. It's uh, again why, even knowing what the earnings were on that, you might have wanted to bet take it long, if you had been on the inside and knowing that, you might have wanted to take it long. But uh, I guess the good earnings were not good enough in this case. So I think one twenty holds here and. Uh, you know, you could sell some sell some puts next week, um, and maybe uh, maybe uh, buy some puts. So do a put spread below them, or you could just uh, buy it long. But I am thinking it's going to maybe be maybe be range bound here. A lot of technical damage done here on uh, Thursday. Um, SMH, uh, the semiconductors, we kind of just seem stuck here. We've got NVIDIA reporting. Be interesting to see what that does. Square had uh, good earnings, and you can see here we had a nice pop on the day, and now we just pulled back. So it looks like Square is just really just stuck in a range here, which means you could probably take it to the upside, downside. But And here's the TBT that's uh, playing if the yields go higher. It has had a nice little run there. TLT is the opposite, so if you think rates are going to drop again, you can play that. It can take that long, and uh, if if rates do turn around and start to head lower again, uh, this would be a good way to play it. Uh, maybe even with uh, doing a call spread with some options, if you're doing if you're trading options, buy a 138, sort of sell a maybe a 142, just depending on the price of them. TNA, TNA is the way to play the, the small caps. And again, we just seem to be, you know, opening higher, ending lower. These hollow fill candles, three of them, opening higher, uh, opening lower, and, and even going lower. To now Friday was a, a good day for them, but they just seem to be stuck here right now. So again, a break over 65 would probably be something you might want to take a look at. So natural gas just seems to be seems to be stuck. Had a nice pop because we've had some some weather reports saying it's going to be a cold cold winter and so demand for natural gas is going to be higher. Uh, had that nice pop but now it just seems to be hanging around. I think uh, it's probably going to be a bit directionless. Uh, had a big day on Friday with uh, oil. Um, maybe energy could be a way to play if we can break out of here this 12 level. On the USO, the uh, energy stocks may follow. Um, one way to play that would be with XLE. So a little bit of a pullback here. So if we do break out uh, on the on the USO, XLE could be a could be a way to play it. Would be a good. Uh, a good run all the way up to sort of the 6250 level, which is what I'm looking at right now. 62 is certainly, if we go back a ways here, 62 held. <clears throat> all right, well, let's, uh, we can take a look at a couple of the ones I have that I'm just holding. This is uh, MO, I've been in it for a long time. It's done fairly well. Seems to be topping out a little bit here, but caught it on that pullback. 
and T, T just, uh, T just uh, is one of those stocks I just like holding on to. Both of these have dividends too, so I'm liking those. <clears throat> anyway, that's about it, everybody. I uh, hope everyone's had a great uh, weekend. Like I said, it is Veterans Day tomorrow, and markets are open regardless. A lot of people have the day off, but uh, we will be trading in the day trading room in the morning. And uh, if you have a chance, you can check out my book on Amazon. It's called How to Swing Trade. And yeah, so see everyone tomorrow morning. And have a good rest of the evening, everybody. Bye for now.